Hey there, Tony Richardson from Explode Creative here, another video tutorial. Haven't been able to do much drawing lately, lots of homework from uni, so just kind of making up for it today. Drawing Charlie's Theron today, so let's have a look at how this face shape works. To me, there's quite a pronounced uh, uh, jawbone there, so uh, we'll definitely have to keep that in play. I'm gonna. She's got a, a lot of different hairstyles, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this one today and see how far we get. All right, so I've got that head shape in. Observe that her neck is kind of tall as well as the face, like the face and the neck. Uh, Toolish. Um, let's have a look at what else we can get. Let's uh, let's finish off the hair and uh, see how we go from there. The funny little uh, <laughs> angles and twirls and things kind of gives it like, like a Hanna Barbera feel, which you know I, I guess I don't mind. So whenever you can get some cool squiggles or, or ziggity zaggity edges, just go for it. See what we get. All right, now let's have a look at where we should put the nose as an indication of where all the other features will go. And I'm thinking of how far it is from the chin and the forehead, where that point is. Um, and also, how does it... it comes down in sort of an arch, and the tip is quite... upturned. The tip is quite upturned, so... Let's pick that out. And... Uh, I did a little bit of a nostril there. Just because her, her nose is that upturned, you can see the nostrils pretty much all the time. Let's, uh, let's get these eyebrows in here. <laughs> Just kind of winging it here, we'll see what we get. Um, her eyebrows seem to be quite thin, but thick on the inside, so let's work with that. I'm gonna put the stroke up a bit. I'm going to get into the stroke uh, options panel. I'm going to make sure show options is uh, enabled. I'm going to change the width profile from number width profile number one to number five. And it, now it's thick on the outside, but thin on the inside. I want to switch that around. I'm going to hit the flip along button. So there we go. It's nice and swapped. Alrighty. What have we got now? Let's have a look at doing the mouth. Now on her face, check out like the mouth is quite small is it it's it's a perception thing really you kind of you, you see this stuff after a while but most of the mouth is below the nose and there's not much that kind of peeks out from it so let's make sure that the mouth doesn't really get too far outside of the nose and hopefully we'll get a bit of likeness now I'm gonna clear this out so I can see what's going on with this mouth I'll check I'll follow the shape the inside shape of that mouth Uh, I'm gonna get a thinner, thinner line for this. Now she's got some uh, upturned uh, little cheek nibs. I don't know what you call them. Just on the sides of the mouths. I, I knew the name. I, I forgot it, so don't worry about it. Keep going. Uh, the bottom lip is quite large, but uh, not that big. I mean, it's, it's big-ish. Yep, the top lip is... I mean, it looks quite big in that image, but it doesn't look big in those other images, so... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think about that. This is... Uh, this is... I mean, it's, it's really easy to draw. Uh, someone, like a, just a picture of someone, but how do you know you're capturing their personality, you know, if it's just a picture? How do you know that you're capturing 
the way their relatives see them, like all their quirks. That's just a thing that... I don't know, we have to work through, I guess, as digital artists. Might bring that chin in a little bit. I'm gonna get the smooth tool so that the sides of the face aren't so complicated. Because uh, the simpler the size of the face is, the better this is gonna be. I, I mean, honestly, she has cheekbones. Like, look at this. On the side of her head, her head comes out like that, really. Like this shape. That's the side of her head. If I did that, she would look like a transvestite. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but <laughs> look at the, the look at the Donkey Kong already happening. So I, I seriously stress, just simplify the side of the face for females as much as you possibly can. Otherwise, they'll probably uh, chuck your caricature in the bin <clears throat> the second they walk out. Let's do the eyes. I might just get some of that hair out of the way so we can see the other eye. Okay. Now her eyes seem quite... No, not, not that close together, but... A little, a little close together. And by close together I mean... Like the, the usual accepted close together of eyes... Is one eye length apart from each other. That's like the standard... Face. So if, if it's... If the eyes are closer than one eye length from each other then that's close-eyed. So we'll, we'll, we'll give that a go. I'm gonna draw in this uh, lash stuff going on here. Like, probably what's happening up there. We'll have a look at how to mimic that. Actually, first what we might do is draw in those eyelids. Because she has and, and eyelids are sexy on, on women, so make sure you get those in. It's, it's not like it's it's ever going to be a problem. Um, let's just see if we can get some decent uh, eyelashes. Now, I'm observing that her eyelashes point upwards, and they're quite prominent, so there's a fair bit of lash that comes downwards from there as well. So I might switch down to a thinner... Uh, I think this eye needs to be kind of lengthened a little bit. Just to match the other one. <clears throat> okay. And we'll kind of we'll thin that one down a bit, squint it down a bit. I think I overshot the mark just a tiny bit. That's what's nice about digital caricatures. You can always go back and fix it. It does take a while to kind of... develop that instinct for what to fix the second you draw it. Okay, so what have we got here? Will I get away with that line on the cheek, do you think? I'm gonna get rid of it. It could accidentally add, you know, 10 years of... age and regret to the face. So I might just not do that. I'm gonna probably just proceed to the eyes so we can make this video a little quicker. Whoa! Gee, thanks Illustrator, give me those... Uh, there's honky eyes there, it's beautiful. Um, now I'm, I'm still on the black and white uh, layer, so I'm probably gonna have to switch down, make a new layer underneath the black and white line art, get my blue swatch that I wanted. She's got some steel blue eyes, so let's bring, bring that out, make it happen.
Alrighty. And now I'll bring in the pupil, just a little black circle in the middle. And now so she doesn't look like E.T. We'll make a white reflection just on the top and to the right of the pupil, so... Now her eyes are pretty shiny, so we could even stand to make some more reflection, like one more dot up in the top left, possibly. Smaller than the first dot, though. Always smaller. Hope I'm not going too fast or too slow for you guys. Let me know in the comments if I am, you know, I can always tailor this to what, you, what you're after. Okay. Alright, so what have we got so far? Is this, uh... Is this doing the trick? What I might do is bring that side of the cheek down into a, a fine point and then make it kind of... Yeah, just like that. But always... I've always got my eye on the middle of the head, like an imaginary line where the middle of the head is. So it always, in the middle of the eyes, middle of the nose, that little tiny middle bit of the mouth, and then the chin. Because if the mouth is out just a little bit, like, like if it was out a little bit like that, you know, you'd get more Donkey Kong goodness. Okay, well, uh, we might be able to proceed. Um, I'll just, uh... <laughs> that didn't quite work out as well as I hoped, that little... I'm just getting a little bit of mouth corner. Yeah, there we go. There's the sexiness right there. And... We could probably stand to bring... I'm just observing like whether there's there's a fair bit of space between the nose and the mouth. Like not that much, but yeah, actually I'm gonna get rid of those. <laughs> it looked like a yokel on, on second glance. So sorry if I'm I'm deleting stuff too fast or anything, just, just follow along as you like. Or even don't follow along. Just you know, listen or whatever you're doing. Just cruise out. Just chill. Okay, I'm happy I'm happy enough with that just to just keep rocking. Let's do some color. How are we doing for time? 12 minutes. Let's see if we can do this really, really quick. How's about that? Okay. Down to the color layer. What do we got? Let's grab a skin tone. Just the usual skin tone I've got. Now this is in the... Uh, what, what's this called? The, the, oh, the graphic styles panel. And I did give away a free graphic style set in one of my other videos. It was about three videos ago. Let me send that to back. So if you want this uh, set of free uh, colors and swatches that I'm using here on the right, just head over to explodecreative.com.au slash free graphic... Oh, no, sorry. Slash free dash graphic dash styles. That's explodecreative.com.au slash free dash graphic dash styles and you can download this little set and there's a little guy that'll tell you how to install it now check out her eyebrows like they're not that dark they're kind of brown so I might kind of get a, a brown ah you fool I'll mix in some red that's all we need to do just on your RGB just go to the red and mix in a little bit of, just a little bit of red, maybe a little bit of blue. I'm going to switch it over to HSB. Uh, and I'm going to put the saturation down a little bit. Um, oh yeah, okay, we've got, we've got a bit of, we've got a bit too much purple happening here. <laughs> uh, switch back to RGB. Actually, no, I might just uh, go into the hue section up here and switch it around till I get to the, the red area. There we go, that's perfect. We've got our brown. 
Now, the white for the teeth, before we forget. Um, hmm. I, I kind of want to add a little bit more Lassitude to this area of the eye. It's just the bottom isn't lashy enough for me. Her, the bottom of her eyes are quite lashy in quite a lot of the images. So let's make sure we mimic that and not lose that part of her look. There we go. That's a bit more like her. See, she's got on this image. She's got some lower eyelids, but definitely don't draw that because. Woo! Mama. Let's just get the hair in. Uh, before I do that, I'll just uh, put a few little white uh, reflections in. Um, okay, I'm just going to stick with the nose. There's really nothing else to do here oh, except for lipstick. Let's do the lipstick. How's about that? i got a, got a red swatch over here. Oh. Oh, okay. We're still on the black and white layer here. Let's switch back down to the color layer. Get my red swatch. Um, you want to kind of judge whether this red is too red. Might be. Might just be that the that part of the mouth is too too wide. Her reds are her mm, her lips are a bit more pink. So I'm gonna switch the opacity down to about 41% where it starts kind of blending with the skin tone. That's all I wanted, and I'll put a bit of shine on the lips as well for the with the white. There we go. All right, moving along to the hair, and she's got blonde hair, so we'll start off with just a generic white. It's the uh, generic yellow, jeez, English, all that kind of thing. Let's get the yellow in. Now I leave space. And I'm only telling you what I'm doing. I'm not saying it's the way you should do it. I mean, develop your own style. Take the, the bits you actually like from what I'm doing and develop your own style. That's the best way to do it. Um, I got the yellow in, so let's bring in some brunette highlights, I guess. Not highlights, dark lights. And I'm just having a look at where those might be situated. I've got a really dark brown here. I'm going to chuck the opacity down to about 30%. So that... Uh, it blends more with this, uh, this hair colour. Now I'm... Uh, let me know if it's, if it's a bit annoying for you. If, the fact that I'm going this fast. I really don't want to make like... 40 minute videos that are just boring as hell while I, I mumble and ramble and just do tiny little changes and explain every single move I make. If you want to check out some of my earlier videos, I did explain quite a lot about how to exaggerate uh, certain areas of the head. Pretty good grounding in that sort of uh, basic caricature theory and stuff like that. So if you want to go back and see some of those earlier videos, that's all good. Especially the uh, the first one, there's like an advanced exaggeration video and there was one about Michael Caine, I think they wanted a fair bit of explanation. They were quite long, but uh, I don't know, people seem to like them. I'm just bringing in as much of this curl as I can. Just do a bunch of little swiggity swatches. Making sure they don't overlap because they're slow opacity, isn't it? Um, 
Okay. That might just be about it for the hair, I guess. Alright, how are we doing for time here? 20 minutes? Ah, oh, jeez. It's all the talking. Let me know if you guys uh, prefer the speed painting ones or whether you actually like all this explanation. Normally I try and get these done in about 10 minutes each. Just as a way of practice. You can't always get this amount of hair detail in those, in those under 10 minutes. Sometimes you can, but, uh, yeah. Alright, well, um, I guess I'll just uh, leave you guys with that. Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, I'll check you later on. Check out uh, Instagram.com slash giftcaricatures. Follow that crap. There's a bunch of pictures on there. You can have a look at them. You can do whatever you want. You can click on the next video. Heck, it's a free world. Just just go out there, eat some cake. Just be, be the best man you can be. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Actually, before I go, there's a couple of things I want to fix up. I just want to pull those eyebrows further apart. Because check out, there's a fair bit of space between the eyebrows there, so that might be a big part of the thing. Also, a really thin line, just to make the, the horn swoggle, or whatever you call it, beneath the uh, nose. It connects the nose to the mouth. That appears to be a, a large part of her look because it's clearly visible in all types of lighting. So let's get that in there. And I think it's, it's added a little bit. So yeah, there you go. Thanks, see you later. Oh, and I went and added that chin. <laughs> Don't sue me. There we go. A little bit of a chin. She's got a chin chin. So Adventures of the Chin Chin. It's in there. It's ready to go. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Oh heck, you know what? There it is. Bye bye.